Hey everyone, welcome back to the Bite and Vizig. But you may be thinking, this is not Bite and Vizig Africa Plus. What happened then? Well, this is the final DLC of the Bite of Isaac, and it's one of the most awaited ones out there. Now, before we do start, I want to uh, I want to say something. The way we're going to play this out is that I'm going to play it on a save file that I've already made, but uh, what I'll do every single time is recap on the achievements we already got. So, for example, if it's a new achievement and there's some people new to this uh, whole uh, let's play, then, you know, they might want to recap or so. Alright. So this is the save file I made right here, um, where we literally just got, like, <laughs> not even that far into making the, both the polar right and the negative. Um, and let's go to secrets real quick. Let's see if we can find those uh, achievements that we're talking about. Also, ever since this DLC came out, there's been twice the amount of DLC, uh, twice the amount of achievements as there is now. There we go. You unlock Bethany. This was, um, you can unlock this by, uh, you can unlock this by defeating hard mode with Lazarus, and I managed to do this pretty easily, and, uh, the easiest way that I know how to do it is that you can actually beat Mom's heart before on hard mode if you already have Lazarus, uh, then the stars are calling. This achievement unlocks a new place called the Planetarium. Now, the way they unlock that is actually pretty simple. You have to get you have to get some like lunar items, I guess in a way. For example, like the zodiacs, fortune not fortune ball, but fortune telling ball or whatever it is. Uh I'll see if I can put the items on screen. Fruity Plum. Now, this one... You may be thinking, like, this is too much of an obvious achievement, like, to even know what you have to do in this one. Well, actually, the achievement is quite simple. All you have to do is beat Baby Plum ten times, and you should be able to unlock this. Uh, now, Book of Virtues, it is unlocked if... I think you... Uh, the mom's heart in with Bethany, I think. I don't know. It's probably cathedral or some. Yeah, it's cathedral. Urn of Souls. Now, a bit of a, a bit of trivia on this item. This item was actually cut out from the original anti Um, probably because they didn't necessarily know how the what to do with the item, but. You could probably imagine what it does, probably. Best Faith. Now, I believe this is another achievement you can get if you defeat Mom's Heart, I think. Uh, not another achievement, but if you defeat Mom's Heart with Bethany. Divine Intervention. Uh, this is unlocked if you do the challenge, the bit, <laughs> bah, the boss challenge room with, uh, Bethany. Dirty Mind. Uh, now this is uh, completed with the uh, if you defeat the challenge known as Scatman. What is that and simple? <laughs> there you go. Member card. Uh, I'm trying to remember how you do unlock this item, but I believe it's uh, you spend 40 or more coins in the store. And Golden Razor. I think this is the same way? Unless I'm, unless I'm mixing up the two. <laughs> Which I could most likely be doing that. And that's that. Uh, now, what we're going to do here is, well, Rob is going to do a run on Bethany to see what she's like at first. And... For Pete's sake, I want to do it on green mode. Now, some good things about this character 
you may be thinking like, oh, what does Bethany do? Like, uh, oh, well, she does this. Now notice that one meter that's above the coin, or like where the waves are. That is, well, she cannot collect soul hearts regularly. She has to use them as a charge bar. <laughs> bar is so, tears and shot speed up. Now, uh, I'm trying to remember what was new about this. Also, that is a good item right there off the bat. <laughs> Alright. I'm pretty sure this was in the original game, but I think shot speed was a thing, but it wasn't clear on what it was. Uh... But yeah, apparently, I've heard feedback from like uh, this DLC as of recently, and apparently they've made this game much harder than it should be. Like, I mean, I get it, like, uh, fair and balanced and everything, but like, still. <laughs> this is a bit too much of a challenge, I guess. I don't know. I shouldn't be saying that, even though I've uh, literally completed uh, Binding of Isaac, uh, Afterbirth Plus so easily, so... I haven't even gotten platinum. Okay, I died already. Good game! Uh... We should probably just do, like, a normal round with Bethany or something. Well, actually, no. I'm gonna do a normal round with Kane. Because there's something specific about Kane that you'll notice that he's buffed about. Also, sorry if my voice sounds very coarse, uh, just haven't been getting much sleep as of recently. <laughs> now, the most noticeable, noticeable difference I'll point out later once we get a pill. Meanwhile, we're just gonna have to defeat these, uh, creatures. <laughs> Uh, also, a nice thing about this, you can actually notice where the shop door is. So you won't have to go pondering around and looking for the shop. Which tends to look like the same thing. Alright. Bomb this. And. Ooh! Also. I believe they updated the treasure pool a little bit, so you can get, like, some boss items. Also, that is... difficult. Never mind. <laughs> Yum heart. Uh... I'm literally trying to think of what to say. Uh, they also changed some of the sounds in this. For example, coin noises, all sorts of noises. And... Go down here. The door is actually different, and plus... Look at this! There's blood oozing from the wall. Hmm... Alright, let's see what boss we get first. Wouldn't you know it? It's Baby Plum! Uh, she, I think. At least that's from what I remember. <laughs> She's just so darn happy. Look at her. Also, if you're wondering, like, uh, yes, her pass her pattern is actually possible to avoid. Uh, just like I did right there. Stapler. Uh, this, I believe, just gives you damage up. Like, 2.03 damage. Alright. 
sacrifice room. Ah, new enemy right here. These are, I believe, I believe they are called army flies. I think they act like swarm flies, but they assemble in a line. I think that's how they work. Also, they change the champion enemies. Let's see. There we go. Treasure room. Oh, hello, flies. This is also a good item. Now you'd be really thinking, like, oh, uh, wait, Magory, how do you get all the good items? Uh, <laughs> it's either a luck or uh, just re rolling like several times because, uh, well, I mean, I do want to make this game playable. It's, well, actually, I'm pretty sure everyone does. Uh, so that way we can get, like, some good fit footage and whatnot. What the heck is going on my finger? Why do I have a weird, strange burning sensation in my finger of all places? Eh, it's just weird. Eh, you still sound like tigers. Even to this day, I still think those fatties, uh, sound like tigers to this day. I think I remember, like, when I was editing a certain video, uh, the Bertrand video that I did. I remember, like, I was beating up those, like, stone fatties, or what they're called, and, like, apparently I found out that fatties are just, like, <laughs> they're... Sounds are literally just slow down versions of gapers. Gurglings. Also, this boss got a new sprite. Look at that. He's so shiny and squishy. Come here. Gone. right there. Uh, I believe this one is called Worst PhD, which gives you bad pills instead of good pills, and then this one is called Sulfur. I'm gonna take Sulfur just to show you what it's like. Oh no. No toilet paper. Oh no. Alright. So what this, uh, what Sulfur does, it gives you temporary brimstone for, I believe, a room or so? Yeah, it just gives you for a room. Oh, good card already. Ah, new item right here. Tooth and nail, you feel prickly. Now, I believe what this does, uh, it's kind of a similar pattern to, uh... Okay, which one of you guys has, like, played, uh, Super Mario 3D World? Uh, and if so, uh, did you get to the one level where there's literally those blocks that go... talking about like this is a similar pattern of <laughs> Alright, here we go. I'll be honest, uh now that I mentioned or uh, bring that up, uh Mario Free the World was kind of a little bit difficult for me at first. <laughs> but only because I wasn't used to uh uh the uh, I wasn't used to playing a 3D platformer. Uh, but slowly I got used to it. 
look, boss room already. Hmm, I wonder who's in the boss room. Hmm, I really do wonder. And kaboom. Consolation prize, one plus to the lowest stat. I believe one plus to the lowest item thing. Uh, oh no, they're shooting poo at me. God damn it, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh yeah, they completely changed this area. Look how cool that looks. Water ripples everywhere. And also, it's a nice foggy blue, which is actually pretty cool. Worms that pop off of the ground, I believe they're called needles, which, um, uh, obviously, in a way, it's referring to Pin. <laughs> uh, actually, this is a smaller version of Pin, I think. Uh, open up, buddy. I know you wanna, I know you need it, I know you wanna, cause you're a good. No, you're bad. Go this way. There we go. Now this little part. I'm gonna take a sip of my drink. Ugh. Sodi pop. Change it so that way these guys explode now. Or not not those uh two worms, but the Mr. Mines are I think that's what they're called. Also. Woo! Look at the cloud these things still shiny. Good job, developer. So I believe they changed the little sprites, uh, for when those things pop up out of the ground. Uh, also, Greed got a reskin. Uh, he's got his, uh, classic. This bag. <laughs> okay, I'll be fully honest about this. Most of the resprites, uh, for bosses in Vine of Isaac, uh, Supposedly, they're supposed to look like, uh, they're, uh, what they used to look like back in Bind of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb. Uh, which, for those who haven't never planned it, I feel very sorry for you, because <laughs> that's the oldest, uh, well, actually, that's the uh, oldest game out of Bind of Isaac, well, just probably the, uh, older version, which is, like, demo or something. I don't think it's... well actually, I don't think the demo is even out anymore, because, uh, Flash ended. <laughs> also... Book. I'm gonna keep myself for though. Uh... Eh, why not? Hey, good old Gertie. Also, I love how they changed, uh, Gertie's sprite in this. It actually makes sense. Also, was that meant to happen? Eh, it probably wasn't. Also, I got eight bombs, so might as well. Uh, basically the difference between uh, the old sprite and the new sprite is that, well, Gertie obviously has a hole, 
that is above her head, obviously. So it allows her to, like, necessarily switch places a lot more easily. Also, I'm tempted to take that much. I just tend to lose soul heart so quickly. Okay, trite. Trite's gone. Come on, move. There you go. Ah, this enemy! These are eggies. Uh, not those spider things, but those, uh, that purple fatty over there. That one's especially a champion, so. Let's see what happens if we defeat it, though. I'm quite curious. Ah, I'm not too curious! Go away. Yeah, despite the name sounding adorable, it's kind of deadly. <laughs> also, you ruined my devil deal. How dare you! Okay. Respectable distance. Respectable distance. Respectable distance. Respectable distance. I mean, at least you're easy to beat. Like I said, easy to beat. Also, baby thunder. Ooh. So where do I go from here? Ah, here. Okay, thank goodness there's a heart here. And I gotta key back. <laughs> oh, hand things. I do not like this room. Ah, uh, dang it. Man. again. Uh... Ah! Like I said. Pill. Now, usually that's not... Like, well, I mean, that's a neutral pill, but... So, God damn it, I have to do something real quick. Give me a moment. There go exiting my window again. God damn it. Sorry about that, I accidentally pressed the screen and I went out windowed mode, so. So, god damn it again. And we're good. Uh, and sorry if I sound a little bit snuffly. Uh, this is allergies and whatnot. <laughs> I mean. I'll be honest, the last time I was kind of like, uh, snuffly, I guess, uh, was when I was doing, uh, or er, when I was, uh, doing Slime Rancher. In fact, I haven't done Slime Rancher in a while. Because usually, uh, if, when it comes around to Slime Rancher, I don't necessarily have a lot to talk about. Uh, because I'm just so, like, in knowledge with the game. Also, these things, I forgot that I mentioned their names, so. <laughs> Migraines. That's literally the name of them. Also, yo? Yo! Yo! A quarter already? And it's been a 
wait, hang on. It's the first fucking floor, and I already got a quarter. <laughs> Change the uh, whatever these guys are. The I think they're bleeding walkers or whatever. Uh, but they changed uh, they changed the uh, sprite to well uh, they changed the sprite to them spurting up blood, so that was a lot more noticeable. So pad you. Oh. I also changed these guys, the crispies. And a lot more facial and facial expression than ever before. It's kind of nice. Uh, goddamn, my nose. Also, nice detail about these guys. You can actually see what their enemy fire is, because it's actually always blinking. Imagine if there were multiple on the screen and uh, I don't know. Probably a seizure warning. Probably I should probably put a seizure warning just in case. So that way I don't want and then one end up in the hospital. Alright. So I think it's going on the controls. They're kind of lagging. Uh, a little bit, but not much. It's not that I'm using a controller, it's just I'm using WASD keys and somehow I'm lagging a little bit. I mean, this could be either a thing from remote play or just full on lag. <laughs> Because I did ever play remote play with a couple of my friends with this game. Uh, heck, I believe one of my friends. Uh, you probably know him well. His name is uh, Magic Choco. Uh, he actually helped me out uh, unlock Bethany, so I'm actually very proud of him for that. <laughs> Alright. Spider Love. I'm doing those to grind something, but except uh, it'll just be me speed running the game. Uh, if all else fails, uh, if all else fails, I'll just switch over to Azazel. I mean, don't get me wrong, Azazel uh, or Keen is actually a pretty good starting out character. I mean, let's be honest. Damage, tier rate. Luck, even like look at that, they're all very good stats. It's part of a completely balanced breakfast. Developers for this, or like two of the developers of this game, uh, is both Not Your Sagittarius and Leather Ice Cream, which, I'll be honest, uh, their art is actually very, very good. <laughs> Alright, let me get these guys. Uh,. Go. All gone. Aquarius. Also, sad thing about this game, they changed the creep so that way flying out enemies will actually fly over the creep. Although I'm pretty sure that's always been there, but doesn't it doesn't it just hurt like a little bit? 
<gasps> okay, good item. Oh man, I love quad shot. Although I think they nerfed it a little bit. Or, is that a nerf or a buff? I don't know. Then again, they buffed a lot of stuff in this uh, DLC. Also, broken syringe. Okay, let me bring out the best tool I have for this game. Uh, it's literally a whole fucking binder on stuff from anti Um, which I've written on my own terms. Uh, actually, a majority of the stuff is um, from the anti wiki, but uh, this is uh, most of the illustrations that I made are actually, well, <laughs> all of them I actually drew handmade and cut them out into no paper, so. Okay, let me see. This is a trinka called Broken Syringe, and I should be able to know what it is. Uh, enemies. There we go, trinkets. Um,. Let's see, we are looking for a broken syringe, that's what it is called. Uh, there we go. Has a chance to grant a random syringe effect each room. So, it's kind of like, uh... What is that one trinket? Uh, touch fuzzy, get dizzy, I think. Actually, no, that's the... That's the bottom text of it. <laughs> Odd mushroom, that's literally what it's called. Also, shot speed. Alright, let's see what effect we get this in, the, in this room. Nothing? Also, before you ask, no, I have not unlocked uh, Lilith yet. Apparently, they also buff green mode as well, so it's kind of somewhat harder, in a way. Ah, baby bomb with him. You're so cute. You know what? Hear me out. Hear me out on this. But... Would it, wouldn't it be a good idea if there was just a big freaking plushie of a uh, baby bomb that you could literally just hug? Uh, and how big you're asking? Uh, about the size of a beanbag chair. <laughs> Actually, that's probably a little bit too big. Let's just say like a size of like a small couch pillar or something. Also, yo. Another thing, they changed uh, HUD items in uh, Final Isaac. So now, you can literally go into options, and if you look in found HUD, or not found HUD, but in extra HUD, you can change it to off, normal, or mini. I'm just gonna keep mini, because, uh, so that way it allows me to see better, a little. But I also know what items I have. Alright. I believe we got euthanasia for this room, which I believe we don't even have- I don't think we have that unlocked yet. Also... Oof. Also, did they change euthanasia? I believe they made a change to so many, like, uh, black tears actually shoot out of the syringes. That's clever. <laughs> This way. Four spiders. God. Let me be honest about this. Uh, spiders are just a bane of my existence in this game. Because. No matter what. Like, uh, their movement speeds are just kind of unpredictable in a lot of ways. And. This is a weird room. Not picking that up. Not go nope. 
Nope. Not even looking. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Alright. This way? if you get hit, um, which I may show off once I get to a boss. Uh, if the boss is a little bit too easy, then uh, maybe you'll notice it later. <sighs> yeah, I applied it open. Spray at this boss, uh, which is nice. Also, ow, move, damn you. Ugh, almost died from that. <laughs> Jesus. So, what Intruder does is that if you get damaged, uh, you actually drop, uh, you lose your head, but you actually spawn a spider that shoots out mutant spider tears, I think. Yeah. Also, that looks questionable. <laughs> also, where'd my time go? Found HUD? No. Wait, hang on. Why is the timer gone? <laughs> is this a glitch? <laughs> Okay, normally if there's a glitch, I don't notice it right away, but this, I'm certain it may be a glitch, because, uh, where does the timer go? I, okay, let me show you real quick. I have all the HUDs on. Why is it not working? Also, filter, what? Oh, now that is just crusty. Um. <laughs> Yo. You know, whoever uses filter is obviously a goon because it kind of like, like gives the uh, game a little less. Finesse, I guess, in a way. It just looks pretty ugly. Yeah, Bombino! Now, this boss is obviously a reference to Legend of Bumbo. Also, yo! Mark Rock? Mark Rock. Also, let me mute my music real quick so that way you guys can hear the sounds. Also, I ran into a fire. That is totally my fault. That is my fault. I, I did not mean to do that. Uh, well, I guess, guess we're moving on to. Yep. Win streak minus five. Ugh, good god, I've been messing around. Oh, also, this is supposed to be a buddy in a box, but they changed the icon of it. 
So it was like um uh an actual figurine in a box. That's pretty cool. And do the funny. Mark Park right there. Let's remember that for later. If we ever do get a bomb. Ah, pill. Now, the only thing that's changed about Azazel, I believe, is his right, I think? Oh, a lot cuter, I guess, in a way. <laughs> this is adorable. Uh, all this way? Nothing. All right, let's try this again. Dead onion. Fucking he who range. Man. All right. Ah, red candle. Ah, misty. Also. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe there was a new update for this uh, DLC recently where they kind of buffed the change of darkness a little bit because it was kind of hard to see. Which, honestly, that I'm actually very glad about. And I'll explain why. Uh, seeing the dark, uh, especially for this long, can actually, uh, well, actually no. Uh, some, uh, some of the darker places, uh, like, uh, the Sheol, or the Sh I think it's this was how you pronounce it, Sheol? Sheila. Sheol-y. Uh, <laughs> uh, for example, the Sheol, uh, you can barely see in that place. Uh, if you had Curse of the Darkness, but... I'm so glad they buffed it, though. Alright. Eh, hey, turtlings. Nothing has changed except for their fucking new brains. That's about it. <clears throat> I just realized how low my voice got. Let me go ahead and take a drink. Ugh. Otherwise, I might be screwed. So, what? Oh, there was probably a tear behind him. Okay, look. Let me consult the map. I don't think there's. Anything? No. Uh, man. <laughs> honestly, being on- uh, Honestly, having a job and doing like three things at once, uh, or like several things at once is kind of a little bit hard, but, eh. At least the pay is good, and sorry the teammates, the teammates are very, very well. Uh, or at least the ones I work with. 
Also, tech X with Brimstone. Let's see how this works. Uh... Huh. So it just gets rid of uh, Brimstone entirely now. Actually, no. It actually looks... Uh, the way my ring looks, it actually looks a lot more jagged. Which, I'm pretty sure that's how electricity is supposed to work, but still. There you go. Whoop. And the haunt. How you doing, buddy? Whoa! Okay, calm down there. Let's see what we got. Ah, Dark Bum. Hi, buddy. Also, I just realized. God damn you. Uh. Okay, uh, if that spider didn't spawn, uh, and it spawned like a soul heart said, said, uh, I would have been fine. But I guess I would have died otherwise in the next floor, so. Uh, not the end of the world, but... Although that is gonna be the end of the world for me. <laughs> that fucking brain right there. I hate that. Just no. I'm not taking it. <laughs> also, if you were wondering, like, uh, for the Fiend Folio run, uh, for the theme folio run, uh, apparently the ending I had to cut off because, uh, Video Link was a bitch and decided to screw up my day, so. Also, I'm reaching 25 minutes in the recording of uh, this one. Or, at, at least this one club. Give me a moment. And we're good. I have still- I still have no idea why the timer is not showing up. Oh. Hey, Mr. Mine. Oh, you- You fool! You moved backwards a bit! Also, what of? Uh, for those who have played Andy Burf, you probably know what this item does. Basically, each floor, each beginning of the floor, your red hearts are reduced to half a heart. If uh, you had soul hearts, otherwise with your red hearts, then uh, your red hearts are just completely gone. But, I believe you get good stuff, like really good stuff later on. Also, hell. What, what use do I have with those? Guess we're gonna just go this way. God, the water ripples are so pretty. Especially the reflections. Uh, shouldn't I go in the store? I have 25 coins. Ah, new item. 4.5 speed the juice out of him. Also, easy, easy there. What if I change the sprites of uh, those, uh, psychic corpse? Um, because now they have teeth. Uh, I think before they didn't have teeth. Also, did you hear it right there? Yeah. Bone noises. 
Also, Bane Pander. Yo. Feed the magic. Also, my frog. Yo. I know, I know I'm saying like also and yo a lot, but... <laughs> Honestly... Yes. Alright. Yeah, let's change the sprite on Fischl, too. Uh, Fischl actually looks a lot nicer. <laughs> but it's still a jerk, because he could still do, like, that much damage on you. Guess we're going deeper. Ooh, watch this thing! <laughs> I don't even know if that like whole cutscene was intentional, but like, it probably was intentional. Uh, but like, I wonder if this is like a reference or something. Ooh, that looks good. All right, go ahead and grab that dark bomb. What did you get? Oh, thank you, little buddy. Wait, you go, you go, baby. Also, Raph fucking died. Ah, <laughs> uh, judgment. Ah. Uh, if you guys want to know, there's a certain, like, I believe there's a soft lock in the game that I've, uh, well, actually, this was, like, when the DLC first came out, but, uh, there was a soft lock in a certain challenge where if you face a certain boss, uh, you actually get soft locked out of the game. Oh, not necessarily soft walk out of the game, but rather you'll just be stuck there fighting the bulls. Lovers. Again. Oh, thank you for the black art. Also, oh, they change the station a little bit. It looks a lot nicer. Knock down. Alright. In this. Ooh! Yeehaw. Jumper gave us disappear being in the basement. But jumper cables, uh, it's kind of fun for me to say. Is I don't know why I just like saying jump uh, jumper cable. Jumper cable. Dingle. I am inevitable. <laughs> I don't know what, what I was thinking when I said that, but... <laughs> I believe there was a fight- Oh no! No! Okay, we're fine. Uh... Uh, it's just half a sword, but, so... I don't know what I was thinking when I said I am inevitable because like immediately when I thought of that, uh, I just had an image of uh, my persona like just holding a Thanos glove and, and saying I am inevitable. <laughs> Next thing I try to snap and then uh, I just turn over to see a fucking weevil with all the infinity stones. 
Weeble, I meant Kiwi. It's a Kiwi. I got bug snacks on a mind. I mean, I didn't play the game, but uh, my friend did, and she got me interested into the game. Uh. Uh, that whole April Fool's with you, uh, she actually helped me out with that, so I thought that was pretty nice. Uh, unfortunately, she wasn't there for most of the video because, well, uh, her mic was kind of quiet in TF2, uh, unfortunately, but. I guess while we're talking about, like, uh, while I'm talking about this, uh, uh, the, on the subject of SF2 right now, uh, I want to mention uh, like a couple things that I forgot to record. Uh, number one uh, is obviously uh, the Gangster Paradise uh, boss. Uh, that boss alone was uh, created by Mentrillum, which uh, honestly, he's one of my favorite boss makers out there. Um, also. Give me a s you burnt my growth? <laughs> uh, I believe who made the Ina boss and the Patrick boss, uh, that would be, I think it's Demon Hamster, I think? Yeah. There's also Larry the Lobster boss, and obviously Troll G. Uh, Troll G is like the highlight of them, because, uh, I think he's supposed to be a mix between Super Dean and uh, Hoovy Dundee. Um, also, the reason why I haven't been recording SO2 much is that, uh, let's be honest, uh, Pack 5 gets the most chosen out of everyone, but even then, uh, like, why would you just choose that game, uh, like, that pack, and, uh, if you just want Hoovy Dundee, like, why can't you just move into, like, another pack? So that way we can confuse the fuck out of them. Also... Oh no! I'm bleeding! Get me out of here! Get me out! Why did I pick this up? If I stay in a room longer, I'll bleed! What is this? What is all this? What is all this stuff? G just give me this. Okay. We're fine. I stopped the bleeding. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. Wait, where's your little ghost? There he is. I have the fun. Come back. Another Joker card. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Alright. Hey, they changed this guy. Alright. Also, that was quick. I think I nerfed Krampus a little bit. I think it was either health-wise or like something else. And God, fuck, damn it! Oh god. I have the whatever this is, uh, the 4.5 volt. Uh, I am about to die. Excuse me. Sure, sure. Damage, yeah. 
Oh, gracious. Nani? This way. This way, nice way. This this way, nice. Go ahead and grab that heart. That's not what I want, you dingus. Oh. Oh yeah, did I mention spike rocks are not a thing? My worst, my worst. My worst nightmare is running into something I don't even know of. It... Yeah. Also, that room is easy. Alright, scooch. Okay, thank you. Also, that thing right there, that's Mom's bracelet. Uh, if you don't remember from Anti Birth. I believe this allowed you to throw rocks. I know I'm just nerding out here on Bind of Isaac stuff because uh, I actually wrote <laughs> a whole fucking Wikipedia on- or actually no. I wrote a whole Wikipedia binder on the fucking Antibur Viking. Oh, only because I felt like it. I should put that there in that one spot of all places. Uh, I would do the boss rush, but I'm afraid I may die. Oh, actually, no. And already the bloat? Already. Well, you are just a bit of a beach, aren't you, game? Uh, by the way, nothing changed about Blood. He's still same old, same old. Except for, well, the fact that, uh... Apparently, now, Brimstone Lasers can actually cause friendly fire onto, uh, other bosses, so that's nice, I guess. Although, I think this only appears for some bosses. Uh, not a lot of them. Ah! Hey, Uriel. I don't even- I wasn't even paying attention to, like, fucking items I got. Uh... Oh, I have Ocular Rift! Okay. I'll have more. I'll have more. You like warheads? You seem like a bit of one. You're just too fucking sour for me, bitch. <laughs> Where'd that even go? Alright. Hey, this boss! They also changed the tears of this guy.
And had to go on me. Ah, Chad. Ow. We are in the beam. Ah, Loki. Hi, buddy. That's why they make Loki so much cheater, like, in Final Fantasy Independence. <laughs> He's just a swing fight, and, and now he's dead. God damn it. <laughs> Probably good that he's dead, because uh, otherwise I'd be stuck with bomb flies, but still. <laughs> Turtling is something else. Ah, pin. Whoa, okay then. Gone. Aria. Sizes. It's actually pretty to look at. Thanks, buddy. Not that I need it. Not that I don't necessarily need Hangman, because I literally have the power to fly. But still, thank you, otherwise. Stop now. Buddy. Ah. New item. Rotten tomato. Uh, 20 minutes long in this recording. Uh, it shouldn't take long until we find the boss area, so. Actually. I forgot Cathedral and uh, Sheila or our thing, so. There we go. Also, they completely changed Utero. I forgot to point, out that, uh, point that out because uh, it's really important. It's a, lot, it's a lot more like of a grayish color, which. <laughs> also. New enemy! Plantoids. Wait, what what did it grab? What did you grab? Um Uh what am I trying to say here? Uh there was an April Fool's map for District Zen, uh, for SO2, or Son of Fortress 2, that, well, I mean, I've heard about it, but I haven't actually seen it, but I saw, I saw a meant stream it on Discord at one point, uh, it's called, uh, Greg's Pizzeria? <laughs> Supposedly, it's a really funny map that's uh, kind of relatable to what's ha currently happening in District Zen currently for April Fools. Well, I mean, April Fools has already passed, but still, April 
Titan Rules is a pretty fun event in SF2, uh, especially with all the joke bosses around and all this sort of stuff. Shots beam up. Oh. Another thing, they added a shot speed down. Uh, they shot it. Oh, excuse me. They added a shot speed pill. Uh, also, my rock. Tears up. Yo. God damn it. <laughs> Never mind. He's completely fucking obliterated. This is fun. 48 hour energy. 48 hour energy. Uh, alright. Oh no! It's the same dream! Ah! Three? I got a three. Nice. Ah, I, uh, or actually, I killed him so quickly that I didn't even know what I had to do with. Uh, but yeah, those enemies I killed so quickly, uh, those are floating hosts. Um, they don't necessarily move around on their free will, kind of like what gapers do, but uh, they move around in a diagonal pattern, I guess. I mean, if you even call that a diagonal pattern. <laughs> or actually... I think it's diagonal. Boom. I'll be right back in just a little bit. I gotta do something. Alright, and we're back. Uh... Sorry if I keep... Kidding, uh, keep uh, going in and out, but eh, this is something I have to deal with. Real quick. Ah, that was a golden enemy. And stone chest. Hey, good stuff. You know, I'll be honest with uh, the changes uh, for Utero. I'm actually very, very glad that they changed Utero, because, um... Utero, uh... In... Well, ever since, like, uh... Well, I mean, for Bind of Isaac and... Plus, uh, honestly, Utero actually looked the same as uh, the womb, which was always kind of confusing. But now there's like this like different music in the background. It's actually a lot better. Also, I shouldn't be bleeding right now. Hail! Hail! Okay. But that's what shards of glass does. So thank you for the black heart, buddy. Yeah, here's it lives. It also changed the laser sounds a little bit. And she's the depths are dank. Also, huh? Hang on. What achievement do we have? Not have yet. <gasps> I know. Okay. 
You guys may not like it, but we're going to do a hush run. I'm still bleeding a little bit, but not much. Taurus, uh... Also, oh my god! Lachki, please, uh, thank you. Okay, let's see if we stop panicking for like two minutes. Please. on his move set. Uh, I think he's supposed to be a lot. God, why'd you take that? Well, I mean, at least I'm not bleeding. But still. Hells are meant to be bullshit, but surprisingly, I'm starting to learn what Hush does a little bit. Oh yeah, they completely changed the tiers, I forgot about this. Ow. Ow. Stop this nonsense. I'm down to one black heart. If I die, this is literally it for me. Oh god. F. Okay, maybe I did regret taking the hush route, but because this is literally where the pit, the train stops right here, I'm gonna end this episode here. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope I wish you guys for a very good time. So see you guys next time.